Welcome to SQL Reporting Service and this is video number 49 and in this video we are going to discuss about charts but before we proceed I would like to show you like what we have done so far and where we are right now so basically what we have done is we got the basics of SSRS then we moved to the installation of SSRS then we did together uh, the con uh, configuring the SSRS so you can view your reports and browser and all after that what we did is like uh, we got the northwind in order to play with the data then we played around with like a lot of controls like tables matrix indicators then we did like a lot of formatting conditional base uh, reports then we use a lot of reports where you we use parameters based on parameters we used to fetch the data then we did pagination sorting and plus uh, in the end i also showed you like how can we deploy the reports so easily all right so now the pending part is from my end is the data visualization where we're going to use the chart and there are one or more a uh, few pending topics like you know the link reports uh, sub reports etc etc which i need to cover so i guess um, well doing that that will bring the end of this journey of this ssrs all right so <coughs> let me fire up my visual studio and see what i'll be doing so we are going to discuss about the charts right so what you're seeing over here is a chart right if you are new you have no idea what is this then it's all right this is uh, the column based chart nothing more special nothing spectacular it just gives you some info so basically uh, you can see like you got like so many charts you got column chart you got line chart shape chart part chart area chart so many blah blah charts right but the important thing is why I want to use the chart in the very first place you want to use the chart because you want to show some progress or maybe I can say some overview of the things uh, at where we are right now example in the past tutorials what we have done is like you know we have done a huge calculations expressions and these on which we got you know some in-depth value okay and which represents the exact uh, things but actually right now I'm not very much interested in the exact things I just would need to know the overview example I would like to know like how much stock I have uh, in my you know uh, building I'm sorry not the building in my mall okay for I got different categories plus I got different products so how much stock do I have with me right now so what I've done is like you know I've connected this to my database and if I do the preview looking at the report you can understand very well okay forget the part how I did this this is very simple trust me we can do this in the next uh, video but right now the important thing to understand is looking at the graph you can make out okay the produce is giving some figure of 81 it looks like we have a uh, very less stock in the system okay so we need to buy more stuff looking at the seafood okay the stock is too high looks like we are not making a good sale so it depends like you know uh, how you want to do the things and it, now this graph helps you actually to understand the system not exactly you don't want to go exactly because every categories have the different products along with that let's say if I change you know uh, I'm gonna change something okay so don't freak out that's uh, very easy okay so what I'm going to do is I hope you guys can see it right now on the x-axis oh come on oh, I need to drag it a bit much further okay so I'm gonna instead of category name I'm gonna put the product name and I'm gonna choose this column right click horizontal axis properties and make this guy as one now this is gonna look a little bit of ugly okay as compared to the previous one because categories are like you know the subset I mean the parent of the products so when I preview the report you see a lot of things now you have the in-depth report of each and every product how much they are in the stock okay so this is the messy one okay I don't want that that's the reason why I configured this thing to do the job for the category so I'm just taking the overview right okay so the category right let's save it and let's preview again this time it should be nice right so a little bit of plus and minus over here and we are very much capable of doing the things right 
so I hope this video helps you in some way and uh, you know if you like this video then uh, please share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video good night and take care